Good evening. Music takes many forms. If you think of classical music as being quiet and jazz as being rowdy, then prepare for a pleasant surprise. You've got a pleasant surprise coming. You see, the group which you're going to hear tonight has really taken jazz, taken music as a whole, and made it, jazz at any rate, for the first time, reflective, quiet, and worth listening to with every fibre in the body. Incidentally, their jazz pedigree is above reproach too. Meet our guests this evening, the Modern Jazz Quartet. called In a Crowd. It comes from a score which John Lewis wrote for a film called A Milanese Story. It's full of those changes of tonality that are so much a hallmark of the modern jazz quartet. Modern jazz quartet, need I tell you who's in it? John Lewis is on piano, Milt Jackson on vibra harp, Percy Heath on bass, Connie Kay on drums. Now this next piece comes from the same film, again a John Lewis composition. It's called Winter Tale.
recalls a feeling of shape and purpose about anything played by the modern jazz quartet. I don't think any instrument has received quite such maltreatment in recent years, or perhaps ever, as the guitar, a once noble instrument which has now been appropriated by almost any teenager who can learn three chords, and of course who can afford the down payment too on the instrument. Well, just a few people in the world can claim to have mastered it and to have given it true artistic status. One of them is, we're proud to say, our guest artist from this evening, from Brazil, that magnificent soloist, Lorindo Almeida.
quite charming, the one-note samba. No picks or plectrums, as you'll notice, for Lorendo Almeida. He's a fingerstar guitarist, which is the right way to play the guitar. Has it ever occurred to you want to wonder how uh, Johann Sebastian Bach would have enjoyed jazz? Certainly jazz has enjoyed Johann Sebastian Bach. Musicians love playing those moving logical lines of his preludes and fugues and contrapuntal works and so on. Bach in his time wrote not just 48 preludes and fugues, but lots of them, probably hundreds. And uh, the modern jazz quartet and Lorinda Almeida are going to play one of them now. It's just called, for our purposes, Fugue in A Minor. And the first statement is by Milt Jackson. talents of Lorendo Almeida, the MJQ, and Bach. 
Milt Jackson, in my submission, stands as far ahead of his rivals on vibes as, say, Jerry Mulligan on the baritone sax or J.J. Johnson on trombone. No one else seems to have quite his combination of flair and technique and that wonderful flow of ideas. Watch his work, listen to him particularly in this next number. I give you its title, although you may not in fact recognize the tune which is really so familiar until some way through. I didn't when I listened to it in rehearsal. Anyway, here it is, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. <laughs> Thank you. 
John Lewis, Milt Jackson, and then, of course, on bass and drums, Percy Heath and Connie Kay. In short, the Modern Jazz Quartet with their guest soloist, Lorindo Almeida. We leave you now with a number called The Sheriff, in the hope that you'll join us for the next edition of Jazz 625. Good night. <laughs>